Sector 6 of the Garden City, reports have been widespread of the sleepwalking woman found frozen to death in Community Park C. Soon after this event, Alex Thorpe barricaded herself in her 12th floor apartment. Weeks and months passed in comfort and isolation and inactivity. Sat in her chair, the sinews of her body fused with the architecture of the seat frame, and below that, the steel and concrete roots of the building. Thinking only of the woman, she found comfort in the gentle throbbing of the city underneath, each pulse of life passing gently up her newly found synapses. Anton Coral was moved to the Garden City on the advent of Company 10's bicentennial celebrations. In his new quarters, he saw seven years' service in the biometrics department, until one day his employers had him dismissed for crawling out of an important meeting on his hands and knees. During that time, he had been suffering from a number of rotary vertigo attacks. Periodically, the axis of his world would shift, and his ears would fill with dissonant barometric pressure. As the episodes intensified, Anton was drawn to edges of the Garden City. Amongst the warehouses and canals, he would pitch his tent for days on end, watching aeroplanes arrive and depart. As each attack pulsed through his ears and the jet engines howled, he would sense his arms outstretched like metalized wings as he floated above the meticulous grid of the city. Nicholas Evans began to worry about how much he was forgetting. Long-term and short-term memories, vital events and emotions were all becoming harder to recall. Inspired by the will to remember, Nicholas took to recording all his movements and interactions with a small microphone. Everything was taken down as a definite memento. After each day, he would carefully listen back through his tapes, savoring his recorded memories. As the collection of tapes grew and his ability to recall deteriorated, Nicholas spent most of his time in the comfortable habit of listening to recordings of himself, listening to recordings of his recordings. <laughs> 